Gone in 60 cents sins. <laughs> yesterday, I saw a movie. Sorry, yesterday, I saw a move. The name was dot, 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 Gone in 60 sessions. It was all about cars. At the start, this guy's brother was getting cherished. And the only way he can get his brother out is to sell 50 cars in three days. Then he went to his friends and said, can you help me sell 50 cars in three days? And he said, yes. <laughs> and they even got five other friends to help them. So on Wednesday, they got, they got P. Pard. They had a computer guys and the car engineer and a pizza delivery man. <laughs> and he said, hey, we got to eat. <laughs> and then on Thursday, they stole 20 cars and I stole a Ferrari and uh, another Ferrari and they stole five others. A Mustang and then they took the cars, the end. <laughs> and then there's my teacher saying, do you like it? Remember your periods next time. <laughs> A little eclectic mix up here. So now we're going to when I was 15 and it's Sammy Sperm's Big Adventure. <laughs> All the original narrations, of course, as you can tell, they're beautiful, done by me. Sammy Sperm's Big Adventure. <laughs> so we got, a, we got a biological diagram of the testicles and penis, just so everyone can view that at their own leisure. This is the story of Sammy Sperm and his big adventure. It begins in the seminiferous tubule nursery. Sammy and his three, all my biological buddies out there, yeah, kudos to that. <laughs> Sammy and his three brothers were created by a process called meiosis. Just like all the other sperm in the nursery, each sperm was unique from the rest. We got all Sammy's buddies all nestled up in the tubule nursery. <laughs> Sammy grew and grew. He even got his tail. When when Sammy showed the nurse, she told him it was not a tail, it was a flagellum. <laughs> he finally became a sperm cell. She told him it was time for him to start school in the epididymis. <laughs> Sammy's exclaiming, I'm so excited for epididymis school. <laughs> Sammy loved school. He learned to swim there and was the best in his class. One day, his teacher announced that all the sperm were to partake in a grand race. His teacher gave... His teacher gave him a map that guided him to a mysterious place. Every day, Sammy asked his teacher what the prize would be. And every day, his teacher would tell him the same thing, that he would find, have to find out on his own. Sammy's teacher, Sammy, and the map. We got a couple places that we're going to travel through on this map. Two weeks later, something odd started to happen. The gate to the town of the epididymis started to open, and all the sperm knew that the race was about to begin. All 300 million of the sperm were off. The first thing Sammy saw was a great freeway called the Vast Deference. As he traveled, he saw many interesting sights. Sammy was well ahead of the rest of the sperm, and Sammy's mitochondrion was grumbling. <laughs> Sammy was hungry. As he passed the bladder, he spotted a seminiscal vesicle drive through up ahead. <laughs> Sammy decided to stop for a small sack. Soon, the rest of the sperm caught up to him, and they were all packed by the prostate gland. They were all covered by s in some kind of protective coating, but it seemed to make Sammy stronger. Sammy swam on with the rest of the semen as they neared the urethra. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Sammy realized he was in a new place. Everything looked different. <laughs> and he assumed this was the vagina? <laughs> he had heard so much about it. 
He could see acid glaring at him as he passed, but he was a good swimmer, and he didn't let anything get in his way. He swam on and swam on, and in the corner of his eye, Sammy spotted the cervix. He speedily squeezed through it and found himself in the, u- in the uterus. He swam further and further and further and further until he reached the fallopian tubes. Now he had to choose which way to take. <laughs> he somehow knew that the prize was in the right fallopian tube. It must have been all the estrogen that was sweeping from it. Sammy's being welcomed to the vagina <laughs> as all the intruders are telling him to leave. Sammy swam like he never swam before and didn't give up. Him and his classmate Gamite were and were mitochondria to were mitochondria to mitochondria. <laughs> but he was sure that he could beat them and it was and to the prize. Just as Sammy turned the corner, he saw the most beautiful egg he had ever seen. <laughs> Her name was Ellen. <laughs> and she was the most perfect Zona. He wanted so desperately to become a zygote with Ellen. <laughs> so he swam full speed straight t- toward Ellen and burrowed his head into her. <laughs> Many sperm did the same, but Ellen decided to choose Sammy to join her. He thought they had chemistry. <laughs> the two cells mixed up their chromosomes and became a whole new cell. Slowly but surely, they traveled down to the rich and nutritious lands of the endometrium where they decided to spend their honeymoon for nine months. (laughs) Months passed from a small zygote divided into many, many more cells until there were millions and millions of cells that made up a baby. Soon, it was time for the baby to leave the same way the sperm had entered. (laughs) Dot, 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 through the vagina. (laughs) Yeah.